Hey guys, what's up? It's Brittany. So, this is going to be a live reaction to The Walking Dead Season 6 finale. If you follow me on Twitter and Tumblr, you know that I am pretty obsessed with this show. This whole season has just been insane, incredible. And I'm sure that this finale is going to be nothing less. I'm not ready. I don't think anyone's ready. It is 8.57. Almost 9 o'clock. Ready or not, it's happening. So yeah, uh, recapping where this has left off. Obviously we have Michonne and Glenn captured. Uh, Rosita and Daryl now captured. Daryl shot by Dwight. Maggie probably having a miscarriage or something. Carol's still out on the loose. Obviously Negan right around the corner. We don't know who's gonna get Lucille. For me, I'm thinking it's either Daryl, Maggie maybe. They might just go ahead and kill off Glenn anyway and have him die by Lucille like he does in the comics. We don't know. I've never recorded a reaction before, so I'm just gonna... We're, we're watching this together. This is live. I don't know what's going on. I'm so excited and scared and... Hmm. Here we go. Previously on AMC's The Walking Dead. Okay. Okay, so this was the sneak peek. You are alive. Probably not for long, because it's a horse. <laughs> Lynn's still not back. I need to be there for Maggie. I said no. Carl? Maggie, you were wrong before. This place isn't too big to protect. We need to stay back and help protect it. This place is ready. I thought she was just Most of us have been trained. You know that. If you were worried about an attack, you wouldn't be leaving. You know how far the hilltop is? You know what could happen? Listen to Carl. That's not happening to you. Right? I'm not going to let it. Oh. Screw you. I'm going. And it's stopped. Wait. Look, it's a long trip. You just what is going on with this? It's not locked in the closet. Oh! <laughs> what happens if you don't come back? How am I supposed to live with that? It's just survive somehow. Oh, JSS. Place. Who's gonna be the safe place? Exactly. They keep leaving. <laughs> Cause that's obviously the most the greatest idea. Let's all leave Alexandria. Are you comfortable leaving me in charge of Alexandria's defense? I hope he doesn't mess up. If the saviors do show up, should we try to make some kind of deal? Uh, Tell them to wait for me. I got a deal for him. Let's go. With the cockiness! They don't know! <laughs> Look at Gabriel. <laughs> oh, here's the, the shot of Morgan that's on the poster for the season. Is that her? That's Cal. I'm shaking. She's big. No! So these are clearly some saviors that are just gonna kill this guy to make a point. They wait for Negan. They're waiting for Rick in his RV to roll up. Oh. Oh, I can breathe. Opening titles. Okay, first commercial of the night. We only got about how many more minutes? Like 60? Oh, she okay? We're gonna get there. Miss Captured. Someone's dying. Coral. That was weird. Are they going light into? Yes. No, not Megan. Those people. <laughs> Poor Maggie. This is not the best time to be pregnant. Just go straight through them. Run them over. Mm -hmm. No, why? Why can't they just go straight through them? They'd have to run. I don't think that RV is strong enough. Oh, look at Carl over here on the front lines. <laughs> we can make a deal right here. Right now. That's right. We can. Give us all your stuff. We'll probably have to kill one of you. you Want to make the day your last day on Earth? Title of the episode. What if it's the last day on Earth for you? <sighs> for someone you love. <clears throat> Be kind to each other. Like it was your last day on Earth. Oh my god. <laughs> they are setting this up. Someone... Is for real, Diane. Okay, we're back at this. 
Whose perspective is this? Who is that? They're showing a lot of Carl. I don't like this. Okay. I said go. Oh, Carol. Just ask him if you could do that. Oh, baby. Could you? That's a lot to ask. Yeah. Now. Not the best time, but okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Another Ah, oh, they're clearly trying to send a message here. Yeah. We end it. I'm not liking this. I'm not feeling too good about Carl. They can't hurt the Grimes fam. I need Rick, Carl, Michonne, Judith to come out of here unscathed. Okay, we still haven't seen Daryl or Michonne or Glenn, which I'm not happy about. Why do they always show Morgan? When we have other stuff we care about. <laughs> why do they do that? I don't know, why are they doing this? What about Michelle? They make us think Glenn died, and then they give us a whole episode about Morgan's life next week. Yeah. Where do they get the horses, by the way? There's no dogs left. Because horses never last long on this show. Oh god, back to the RV! Stay behind the wheel, just in case. What is it this time? Is it walkers? Isn't Rick wondering where Michonne is? Isn't Maggie again wondering where Glenn is? And why aren't they showing us that? I feel like they're gonna be hiding behind the walkers. I am not liking Carl being here. Oh! Come on, let's do this. Dad, that's Michonne's. What? Ah! What is it, how what? They cut off two of her dreadlocks and put it on the thing and took her vest. And they have Daryl's. And Daryl's vest. Is that Daryl's vest with his, oh, his crossbows? It's Daryl's. What the? I said they were hiding. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're literally gonna do whatever they want. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that Michonne and Daryl are not dead. They're just doing that to scare them. But that was not comfy. I was not feeling too comfy about that. Oh my god. They're getting in his head. She's burning Oh my god. He's too distracted now. Rick. Again? Oh, gee. Holy God. It's a wall of them. Well, clearly they are mad because they took out so many other people, but clearly they didn't take out enough because they seem to have an army. Back to Morgan. Nice. Just galloping through the city. Okay. Quality content. Who the? Who's that? Is that the guy that was following her? I am not liking this Michonne thing now. I am not okay. People said that. They said they were gonna hit him where it hurts now that he's with Michonne. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Who's that? The guy! And then who was the other oh. No. I swear to God. I'm gonna watch you die. Okay, well Morgan better show up and save the day right now. Fuck. If he's gonna do anything. Oh my God! <gasps> really? <laughs> oh my God! These commercials. Overkill. 90 minute finale is really just an actual hour as opposed to 40 minutes. Okay, whose perspective is this? Michelle what if Maggie dies from natural causes? Baby's gonna be okay. I feel like the baby's already gone. He was so optimistic. This would be a good time for Morgan. She might have the gun up her sleeve. No, she pulled that trick once. Don't shoot her again. Gonna die. So there's nothing wrong with me anymore. She's, he's just gonna shoot her and, until she dies. How is she even gonna get away at this point? No. She can't get up and run away. 
I swear to God. Be quiet, Carol. There you go. <laughs> oh my God. Shot leg, shot arm, cut. Please, just let me go. Oh. What happened here? These are the people from the kingdom? They said Morgan would stumble across them. She needs help. We must get you some help. So, who are the kingdom? They're like another group. I just brush up on the comics enough to kind of know. I'm not liking little Carl being here. We are neck deep up shit creek with our mouths wide open. <laughs> His lines. <laughs> Holy. Condone. Um, aren't they wondering? Carl? Something's gonna happen. Like the wood setting on fire. And I meant to say, it was kind of important. They said that Negan killed a 16-year-old boy. That's what Jesus told them. That he showed up and killed a 16-year-old boy in front of them. Beat him to death. Carl is a 16-year-old boy. What are they gonna do? They're just gonna drive around in circles until they meet Egan. She, was, she needs a doctor. Oh god, it's nighttime. Thank you for this. For all of it. I know, Eugene stepped up. <laughs> One of them's dying. <laughs> Any touching moments, long speeches. They're gonna walk. Thank you. And he's gonna take the truck. Oh, this music is actually making it really sad. He's smiling. As he's happy, he gets to be here. Okay, so so far, no Michonne, no Daryl. Pretty sure it's their perspective that they keep going back to. Okay, they're in the woods. Ooh. Oh, God. She does not look good. We have. And we will. Cool. Something happened to Denise. I'm not gonna let anybody die like that again. I don't like this. That's even the whistle. Oh my god. Literal heart palpitations. Ooh, they're surrounded. Look at Rick's face. He feels so defeated. I feel defeated. I swear on my life if they touch Carl. Well, clearly Negan has a lot of bros. Look at him, like he's like, this is literally, we're dying. Why is he so pointed at Carl? See, he had the Lucille gun. That's yours, right? You do okay. not disrespect the hat. Oh God, she looks like death. He doesn't know what to do. He, he is so scared. This is this is bad. <laughs> There's no way out. He's gonna come out now. No. This can't end well. <laughs> you think? This can't end well. Quotes from Jeannie Butler. You know, I, I always ask, how are they gonna get out of this? Rick was scared in the RV at the end of Thank You. And we, we, we were like, they might kill off Rick because we thought that they killed off Glenn. And again, we thought, how the heck is Glenn going to get out of that herd of walkers? But this is different. They're surrounded by like a legion of conscious humans with weapons and a crazy psycho leader. Yay! Carol might rescue him. Carol can probably not even walk. I'm very worried about Michonne right now and Carl. Not quite. Okay, here we go. This has to be them. Right! I'll oh, just get the other ones. Come on. You people to oh. I'm about to say like a sign of the cross right now. Like I am so serious. He's like, holy crap, they have us all. Ready? Oh. This is terrible. They've made it to so right. much. We got a full boat. This is terrible. Let's meet the man. Oh my god! <sighs> ah! This one our pants here? He looks like the comics, kind of. Like the face. Which one of you pricks is the leader? 
You have like 500. Also, when I sent my people to kill your people for killing my people, you killed more of my people. Not cool. You are so going to regret crossing me in a few minutes. Oh my god. Give me your shit. Easy, I'll give it to him. You thought you were safe. Oh my god. This. This is Lucille. And she is... Awesome. Oh my god. Oh god! No! You got one of our guns. You got a lot of our guns. I swear on my life. Shit, Ken. Lighten up. Please cry a little. Sucks, don't it? The moment you realize you don't know shit. Uh. Kyle has to live. <laughs> this is definitely your kid. So stop that! Do not make me kill the little future serial killer. Don't make it easy on me. I will literally disown the show. I gotta pick somebody. No! I simply cannot decide. He's gonna do any meaning. <laughs> Eeny. No, it's gonna end. Meeny. Miny. If it's Michonne. Ah! No. My mother told me to pick the very best one. It's gonna and end. You are. He's gonna whack it. Anybody moves, anybody says anything, cut the boy's other eye out, feed it to his father, and then we'll stop. You can breathe. You can blink. You can cry. Hell, you're all gonna be doing that. Stop. They didn't tell us anything. That was a rip-off. I feel like shedding a tear. What the heck was that? I have to wait how many months now? No, that was a rip-off. How many months? The voice that was choking kind of sounded like Carl. In case you haven't noticed, Carl's my fave, okay? I relate to the teens on the shows. I, I don't know why. I just feel for them. I, I just, I'm not happy. That was the last scene. Are you feeling okay? Are you alright? Negan was more shocking than a walker mega herd. More terrifying than the wolves and the governor mashed up into a ball. And it seems the introduction of Negan means a very gruesome goodbye for one of our own. I'm Chris Hardwick and welcome to Talking Dead. <sighs> I wanted to know. Why did he say that about the eye? I am not okay. Okay, so the episode is over. We're like 15 minutes into Talking Dead. I have it on in the background. That was kind of exactly what I was expecting. And I'm kind of really mad at this right now. Like, I, I wanted them to show us someone. I wanted it to be like two, maybe two people going. Hang on, Lauren Cohen's talking. This is the hottest episode that we've ever had on the show. And none of us know what happens next year when we go back. They don't? Okay, yeah, so final thoughts. Um, we're about halfway through Talking Dead. I keep getting distracted. This could have gone a lot better than it did. I kind of, part of me knew it was going to end this way with a cliffhanger, us not knowing who it is. I, I predicted it, that it would look exactly like that, Negan just killing off the camera. I was hoping they'd at least kill off one person, let us see one person, and then have the other one be a mystery. 
But they didn't do that, so they're doing the whole hashtag who is it, which I guess is what they're doing to keep us on our toes for the next six or seven months, which I'm not happy about that. But yeah, during uh, the break, I shed a couple tears because I was thinking of the fact of it possibly being Carl. I know it probably isn't. I've gotten a couple tweets from people saying that it's not. I'm going to have to go back and watch it again. But with the, you know, I'll, I'll pluck his other eye out and feed it to his father. And I was like, well, that could make sense if you're, like, you could just pluck his eye out even if he's dying and give it to Rick. Or it's just saying, like, don't, don't this person move or else I will do that. Like, I don't know. But my eyes, I look terrible. A lot of people are saying, you know, it still might just be Glenn. You know, Maggie was looking pretty terrible, and that was another prediction I had said earlier. Like he said, put her out of her misery because of her situation, but I feel like since they've already said all that stuff, it's probably none of those people. You could probably see d during my reaction, I was really not happy about how much they were showing Carl because I was like, this is never good. When they show too much of a person, you know it's probably because they're leading up to killing them. Th this cliffhanger is not the kind I wanted. And I do like Fear the Walking Dead, but I'm not sure if season two is going to be good enough to keep my mind off of this cliffhanger. You know, so then that leaves us with Daryl, Michonne, and Rosita, or Eugene, or Abraham. It could, it could literally be any, anyone. My bet is still partially on Daryl. Part of me really wants to see The Walking Dead take a leap and kill a really loved character. For a while now, it feels like it's to the point where it's like, only secondary characters can die. Like, everyone else is safe. And I feel like with this turn of Negan, that, that this, it's definitely changing. Like, you can sense it. The thought of it, Possibly being Carl really made me shed a couple tears because I was like, that is terrible. Like, that is terrible to do that. You know, because nothing is without purpose on the show. Everything they, they say means something. And then Carl finding the gun that has Lucille carved into it. That was also not making me feel very comfortable. So, the, But then that also makes me feel like they're, they can go either way. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm sure we will all be discussing this and debating and worrying for the next six or seven months, however the heck long it is. The fan theories will be flying. I'm just probably gonna try to get back to life. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, and, th and then there's still, what's going on with Carol? What is going on with Carol? She was shot in the arm, she was shot in the leg. But yeah, whatever the last thing we saw of Carol, she was not in good shape. Um, so that's also very not promising. I mean, if season six is anything to go by, they can either only go up from here or down from here because the season has been so good. So we will see what season seven has to bring. We will see. Okay, see you guys.